Hey there, I'm Maria Saracen from saracencreative.com and this July I self-published a book. It's called Simply Stoic, Ancient Wisdom for Contemporary Chaos and it's based on my love of the Stoic philosophy. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you five tools that help me publish this book without spending a fortune and also doing it really quickly. It took me about five weeks in total to get this done. The first tool I used was my Pages app on my Mac. I didn't go for any fancy writing software, not because I don't think there's some great options out there, but because this is non-fiction, it was very easy for me to write it on pages. Then I used ChatGPT as well to help me with brainstorming, to help me proofread. That was the biggest thing that I loved about ChatGPT. And you can use a free version of ChatGPT to do this. So basically I uploaded the chapters from my manuscript and I had ChatGPT go through it with a fine tooth comb. Usually my poor long suffering husband has been the one who has been my proofreader. This time he loved being able to get the finished product to read and enjoy. Once I had my polished manuscript, I then took it into Atticus.io. This is a formatting software or app that I absolutely love. It was super easy to use. And it's the one thing that I actually invested in during this journey because I felt like that would be the trickiest part. And I've seen so many reviews on Amazon where people are critiquing how a book is formatted and that it just doesn't translate well in their ebook readers. So I wanted something that would do a really great job. And Atticus was that tool for me. Highly recommend it. From there, I exported an EPUB file for my ebook. I also exported a PDF file and I used Amazon KDP to self-publish. So that is the fourth tool that I used and I loved it. Um, Amazon is one of the biggest players, if not the biggest player for self-published authors. They have, you know, so many great tools for authors to use. They're easy, they're quick. In my experience, I was very, very pleased. So I uploaded my manuscripts and then I used the template that Amazon KDP provides based on your book size and page number. And I imported that cover template into Canva. And that is the fifth tool that I used that was incredibly helpful. Now Canva, you can also use for free. I happen to have a pro version, but free is A-OK -okay to use. And in there, I designed this cover using some images that I had generated using AI. There is an AI image generator within Canva as well. And using the template from KDP, I knew exactly where to place my barcode and where all the bleed and crop marks and all of that were. So that those are the five tools I used to publish this book. It was one of the top new releases. That's the term that Amazon uses in its category and I was thrilled to get it into the hands of over a hundred people during the first two weeks of its launch. Going forward, I have to figure out how to keep the momentum going. Reviews are incredibly important in the whole equation. So that is kind of what I'm gonna be focusing on next. So if I have any juicy updates as far as marketing the book goes, I will certainly be back. But in the meantime, I hope this has been helpful to you if you're interested in publishing a book and maybe I've inspired you and provided some good tools for you to consider on your journey. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get a copy of this book, please head on over to Amazon, search for Simply Stoic. It'll come up right away. And if you have Kindle Unlimited, you'll be able to read it for free. So thanks again, happy writing, and I'll see you soon.